Hey guys, this is Wes and welcome to your sixth Java tutorial. Today we're gonna actually do something a little different. We're going to we're going to assign you a project basically, and all it is is just a review of what we have gone over so far. So first of all, let's delete this. We'll keep this because we need it. I'm gonna post a multi-line comment. That's basically giving us what the project covers. So we're going to create a program that takes in the input of username, the year born, and it's going to print out text that returns the username and tells them how old they are. So first thing we need to do is we need three variables of the string data type. So we'll do that all in one line. String first name last name full name and if you remember um, you can declare many variables on the same line as long as they're of the same data type the reason there's gray up under this is because they haven't been used yet they're just declared that'll go away eventually we're also going to declare another variable of the int data type and call it year born and then we're going to declare and initialize a variable of the current year so int year equals 2018 okay now we have all our variables well most of them we're going to declare another one down here but and initialize it but we need to actually create an object of the scanner class so we can use the functionality of that class if you remember from the last tutorial so the way we create an object of another class is if you remember the name of the class scanner we're gonna name it the same thing we named it last time Wes is equal to new name of the class scanner we're going to pass the parameter system in and if you remember system in all it does is it allows you to receive input from the user and from the keyboard so that's that's all that is then we're going to print out a prompt to get the user to give us our first name so the way we do that out dot print line Hello. What is your name? So hopefully the user will print their first name. We need to actually put what is your first name? There we go. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to use, we're going to initialize the variable first name right here and the way we're going to do that is we're going to initialize it by assigning it the value of what the user inputs so let me show you how that works so first name the reason we don't have to declare a data type is because it's declared up here once it's declared in the data type you only have to give it a data type one time so first name is equal to Wes dot next line because the first name is a string so we're going to use next line instead of next int or next double the way this works and I actually didn't quite clarify completely last time Wes is the object of the scanner class so it refers to the scanner class next line is a method within the scanner class that prints out strings so just like next line is a method of the scanner class main is a method of our hello youtube class except we can't see what's in the scanner class but it's there trust me we imported it so hopefully that's kind of starting to clear things up it eventually will be crystal clear but as of right now i know it can be a little foggy but We'll get there. Okay, so we need them to print out 
or we need to prompt the user to give us their last name. And actually, I don't even know why I didn't do this. We're going to zoom in for better vision. So we need the user to give us our last name. So system dot out dot print line. Hello. What is your last name? And we're going to do the same thing we did for the first name. We're going to initialize it the same way. So last name is equal to Wes dot next. And then we need to initialize another variable, full name, which is also a string. But the way we're going to do this is we're going to assign it what first name can, when concatenated with the last name equals. So full name is equal to first name plus. And we need to actually print out a space because without it it would just bundle it together and there'd be no space between the first name and the last name so space plus last name so full name is equal to the first name plus space plus last name so there we go so we're also going to prompt the user for what year we were born or what year they were born we should know what year we were born. Print line. What year were you born? And then, you guessed it, we got to initialize another variable. Year born is equal to west dot next. Instead of next line, because this will be an integer next int and year born has a capital letter right there I put it with an E <laughs> which is pretty sure that's misspelled so let's do that okay okay so let's move on integer age is equal to so we're going to use the year that they were born and subtract it from the current year to get their age so we have to initialize and declare a variable on the same line we could have done it the same way up here where we declared it and then initialized it, but I like to mix things up a little bit. So year minus year born. So age is equal to, say you were born in 2000, age is equal to 2018 minus 2000. Yeah, so years 2018. Okay. So now that we have all this, we just need to print it out on the screen. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to use we're going to utilize print and print line, two separate lines to print it all out on the same line. So we are going to system.out.print hello plus full name if you remember full name is just first name space last name full name plus you that actually needs to be since it's a string in double quotation marks you will be 
and then we're gonna do system dot out dot print line we don't need the quotations yet so we're going to do age plus this year if you're not already and okay let's run this see if it works we don't have any errors and then I will go over it a little bit more clearly about how all that works so let's save it run it okay it gave us our first prompt prompt hello what is your first name we're going to say our first name is Ricky hello what is your last name Bobby Ricky Bobby what year were you born we're going to say 1776 if anyone can tell me what is so substantial about that year write it down in the comments below hello Ricky Bobby you will be 242 this year if you're not already okay so you see there's Bobby and you is kind of clustered together so we need to put a space here and then 242 age in this year right here so you need to put spaces there Java puts exactly what you tell it to put and sometimes you don't even realize what you tell it to do since it's just so meticulous so let's do this again Ricky Bobby we'll say 1999 hello Ricky Bobby you will be 19 this year if you're not already okay so let's go through all this again so I already covered a majority of this in previous tutorials but for the purpose of repetition I will cover them again java.util.scanner is importing the scanner class because without it we wouldn't have access to the functions that this class provides um, then Java looked through all our classes and methods which in this case was only one and found the method main right here and it began execute executing code from there we then declared three variables of the string data type first name last name full name and one variable of the int or integer data type int year born next we declared and initialized the variable year on the same line and gave it the value of 2018 right there we then created an object of the scanner class so we could use the functions of that class within the class hello YouTube which right here is within our class we can only use outside classes that are separate from our main class hello YouTube if we create an object of the separate class in our function that's the only way we can use separate classes we then pass the argument system in where is it? Yeah, system in to get input from the user from their input device, which in this case is their keyboard. We then prompted the user for their first name. They gave us our first, they typed in first name, and we initialized our variable first name by assigning the value of whatever the string the user types in. So let me go over this again. Wes is the object of the scanner class and next line is a method within that class so we're accessing the scanner class and then we're using a method that's within within it and what this method does is it accepts user input in this case it's a string next line and it prints it out or it stores it and we stored it in first name variable we then prompted the user again for their last name we initialize last name the same way we did first name by getting user input and then taking that input and assigning it to the variable or container last name we then initialize full name by assigning it the value of first name and last name with a space in between 
we gave another prompt one what year were you born we initialized the variable year born Wes is equal to whatever integer the user inputs in this case it would be year we initialized and declared a variable integer age is equal to year minus year born which would be 2018 minus whatever year born they put and then it's stored in the variable age and then we just printed it all out system dot out dot print line hello which is a string plus full name which up here is first name plus space last name plus another string you will be and then we went to the next line and since it's print instead of print line it stayed on the same line as you can see down here so you will be age which however whatever year you put in minus the year born plus this year if you're not already and then I already showed you how it worked just play around with it that'll be it for this project but um in the next tutorials we're going to go over control flow statements and the way those work is by default once it finds the main function it executes the code like this from top to bottom control flow we actually control the flow of the program so we can actually manipulate our program a whole lot better so yeah that'll be it for this tutorial um, I've already went it's almost uh, 17 minutes already right now so yeah that'll be it and uh, like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video see ya